Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope, and today we want to say thank you to you, to the fans, to the community, to all the people that we've been able to engage with and be a part of in this kind of, I guess, 10 month journey that we've been on. You are the reason why we do this and you have given us all the impetus in the world to do more of it and we couldn't be more appreciative. Well, and I wanted to make this video before we hit 2000 subscribers. We've been talking about it for a couple weeks yeah. now, uh, figuring out what we wanted to give away, what we wanted to give back to the community and how we wanted to go about a giveaway like this. Mm -hmm. And then we crossed 2,000. We're and it was like, uh-oh. <laughs> close to 2,050 now, and we continue growing every day, and we are incredibly grateful for that. It's amazing. For the opportunity and the way that you guys have supported us kind of along the path. Mm -hmm. Along with that, we want to say a big and deep thank you to the publishers who have helped make this possible. The games that we have before us are a mix of games that I have duplicates of, that I've purchased myself, and some are games that have been provided by publishers for us to cover, to share with you, and now give back into the community. I love making these videos, I love the work and the time that we've put into it, and to be honest, it's allowed me to explore this hobby and this industry that I wanted to be a part of, deeper and more thoroughly than I probably ever would have on my own. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's it's definitely almost like these dreams becoming reality for us. And, and it's, again, it's all thanks to you. Yeah. So we're here to say thank you. And the most obvious way, probably the thumbnail of this video is about a giveaway, which mm -hmm. we are going to be running across all of our different social media accounts. And this isn't a subscriber drive or a like drive, we will ask that you guys comment and engage so that we can pull names and figure out who we're sending copies to. We'll yep. give you all those details in the description of this video and at the end of this video. Mm -hmm. But if you'll allow us, you know, a minute, maybe two minutes of your time to talk about this channel, what we want it to be, what we hope it's going to become, and the way that you guys can help us create the space that we're working on. There's 2,000 of you now, and there's more of you across all of our other different platforms. We've been around for 10 months, and in that time, we've experimented, adapted, developed, grown. I mean, I went from filming in a friend's studio where I set up for every single video uh, and broke down afterwards so I wasn't in the way, to uh, moving into my own place, making sure that I had the space to, you know, have a dedicated studio, bringing mm -hmm. you along on that journey, meeting this guy for coffee because he discovered the channel and wanted to to kind of become friends and be a oh, part yeah. of it. Oh yeah, and collaborate. I never thought it'd become this, but I'm very happy. And now he's in nearly every video that I do and helping behind the scenes on some of the projects that we're currently mm -hmm. working on. But. That 10 month process has been a process of learning and growing and figuring out what is right for our channel and wrong for our channel. Sort of an echo of some of the things we're trying now, the new right for you, wrong mm -hmm. for you videos. The same is true here. Yeah. I read and respond to, or we read and respond to every Everything. single comment on every single platform that we can find. Mm -hmm. And so your feedback matters. So when we talk about the channel, where we're hoping to go, what we have in mind and kind of what we've done. Keep in context where we've been. Yeah. We've been here for 10 months now. We've been here from celebrating 100 subscribers all the way up to 2,000. And we're growing beyond that number as we speak. Looking towards the future, we have a few different platforms that we want to kind of start building on. Mm -hmm. We're working on developing some written content where we're able to feature designers and publishers, uh, have them talk about the creation process of the game, I'm still trying to expand and develop the documentary portion of this site, mm -hmm. where I feature stores like Labyrinth Games and Puzzles, artists like Lenumbra, and take you on adventures and journeys with me uh, like Gen Con. I'm going to BGG, Jan will be joining me for PAX Unplugged, we'll have a joint vlog and story from some of those experiences, and I'm still working on all the content I got from Gen Con. We're also working on reaching out and building relationships with publishers. Yep. Uh, probably about 50% of the games we have in front of us are games that have been provided by publishers mm -hmm. for review copies to do content on and now to give out to fans. And others are just games we want you to have because we enjoy them a lot and we want to share. Well, there's a wide mix here. There's games that I have purchased, games that I have duplicates of, mm -hmm. games that come from franchises that are literally my favorite yeah. in the world, um, and games that have been provided by publishers for us to get a taste of and then I want to share back out with the community. And when I look back at 10 months ago, you know, I put out a video probably two months into this project talking about uh, starting, mm -hmm. starting about like beginnings. 
And it was sort of an echo to a Zay Frank video that I watched when I was growing up talking about on beginnings. He sort of had a, a conversation about the act of starting. Um, and in that video, I echoed a sentiment that a year from now, I should look back and be ashamed of what we or embarrassed by what we put out when I first started. And that's a hundred percent the case. <laughs> and I'm proud of that. I'm excited about that, that I can look back and I can see a notable change between what I put out a month ago, two months ago, what I put out when I very first started this channel, the quality's improved, the audio's improved, the lighting's improved, my on-camera appearance has improved. I have a handsome co-host, which is helping you all watch these videos a little bit longer. And we plan on doing that for the next two months, for the next two years, for the next five years. That sounds better. Hold us to that. You're welcome to. If you ever see the quality slip, our content slip, whether it's the production quality, the review, the gameplay, feel free to call us out. Even typos. That'll be on me. Because we'll listen and respond. That's the promise we're making you. To always get better. We won't be perfect. We'll definitely mess up some rules. But we're going to do our best to continue improving. So let's get to the reason why you're yeah. already here. Oh. Like I said, we're saying thank you. Yeah. And we're saying thank you in, I guess, the best way that I could come up with. And that's mm -hmm. by giving you all some of the games that we love, that we've had an excellent time covering here on the channel, and some of the games that I think you as a community will enjoy. I did my very best to select a variety of different titles, mm -hmm. from lightweight games like Zombie Dice, all the way up to heavier games like Crusaders and Tapestry. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to reflect games and companies that I've worked with and covered here on the channel. I wanted to show off and add a little bit of a personal touch with some Kingdom Death because it is my hands down favorite game of all time. And I wanted to have enough in front of me that we could really say thank you to a wide range of you. This mm -hmm. isn't a subscriber push or an ask or a target for a specific number. We passed the 2000 that we were going after. Yeah. And we know we'll continue moving forward with you all's support. What we will ask, though, is that you leave a comment. You're going to have a few different chances to enter, and we'll leave a detailed description down below letting you know how. But we will have a post on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, and this video here on YouTube, allowing you to leave a comment for the top three games that you think you'd be interested in. Mm -hmm. From there, about a month, we'll go through and we'll randomize the results, pulling one name at a time from each of those platforms, and giving them their top pick or yep. giving them their top pick in the order of availability. Yep. From there, we'll reach out, we'll make sure we connect with you, and we'll take the steps necessary to get these games into your hands. Let's cover quickly some of the games we have on the table here. There oh, yeah. will be a list down below with BGG links in case you want to dive in. Uh, I'll take this half. If you'll take that half. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's do it. All right. You start. Okay. So first, we're going to have one of the Tiny Epic series that we're going to be sharing with you, and that is Tiny Epic Zombies. As you know, in the Tiny Epic series, this is a portable big game. Mm -hmm. um, essentially, what you'll do is that you'll be fighting the zombie apocalypse with your awesome item meeples. Mm -hmm. So pretty fun, great game. You're, it's essentially you're moving across the map and doing your best to survive. The Tiny Epic series from Gameland Games is some of my favorites. Uh, I have two of them to give away here, Tiny, Tiny Epic Zombies and Tiny Epic Western. We have Defenders, we have Galaxies. I have another copy of a few of these back in the closet. These are games that are staples of my core collection, and I'm excited to be able to get two different versions of them into your hands. What else do we have? So, next we got another zombie-themed game right off Halloween, Zombie Dice. This is from Steve Jackson mm -hmm. Games, and this is a really quick... Essentially, this is a press your luck dice rolling game where the object is to eat as many brains as possible. Yeah, it's it's a great one to like stick in a backpack, bring to some family gatherings and everything like that. Moving over here, I have Exit from Cosmos Games. Uh, this is one of the few copies that I have uh, here in the room. We'll mm -hmm. actually be bringing some Exit gameplay to the channel here soon. Essentially, this is a escape room game mm -hmm. where you open up the box and you have a self-contained escape room style puzzle inside of it. On top of that, the game that just tipped over a little bit there is going to be Honga from Haba. We had mm -hmm. a fantastic time playing yeah, this game fun. on camera. Uh, you can go watch that video if you're interested in this. Hunga, this Hunga. is a family-friendly game where you're trying to use the cards in your hand uh, to take different action selection mechanics and appease 
the uh, the gods and appease the lion that's sitting there mm-hmm. in the center of the table. Hongo, right? Hongo, yes. <laughs> Moving over onto this side. Yeah, so this is one of my personal favorites. I think we produced maybe eight videos on this. Oh, at this, man. I mean, and we can continue producing even more. And if you haven't noticed, this is not the uh, the open review copy that we have. This is a fully sealed, still in shrink, uh, Kickstarter exclusive copy. And so. that is going to be Vast the Mysterious Manor. This is an asymmetrical dungeon sort of crawling, yeah. total crazy type of game where essentially everybody's going to don a different role and everyone's gonna have a different objective, but you'll all be playing on the same space. So it's very interesting, very deep and amazing. If you've heard of the old style of Vast, if you've seen any of our videos on the channel over the past month or so, or if you're familiar with Root by Leader Games, uh, this is one that you won't be disappointed by. Moving over here, we have Crusaders by Tasty Minstrel Games. This is going to be a Rondell uh, action selection style game where you are covering the landscape with your knights. This is a more midweight style game, one that some heavier gaming groups would definitely enjoy having. And on top of that, this is the deluxified Kickstarter <laughs> edition. Uh, I was able to do a full unboxing and overview of it here on the channel. Make sure you hop over to that video to take a look at exactly what you'll be getting inside of this game. In front of me here, we have Funkoverse. Mm -hmm. This is the Rick and Morty version. This is the smaller two-player version. It is a really lightweight skirmish game where you're playing uh, various characters from some of your favorite franchises. We have the Harry Potter one over into the corner. I'm not giving that one away. It's Harry Potter. (laughs) It is Harry Potter. That's the larger four-player one. This is the two-player one. Takes about 20 to 60 minutes to play. If you like Rick and Morty, if you're a fan of skirmish-style games, or you just really like pop final figures, this might be one to add to your list. Yeah, get swifty. Moving over here. <laughs> uh, next, we have Menace Among Us. So Menace Among Us is a really interesting take on hidden role games. Yeah. Essentially, it's kind of a combination between Dark Moon and Battlestar Galactica, but condensed in a much quicker playing format. Players are going to be drafting cards and then playing them secretly in order to move their agendas forward. It's very fun, very quick playing, and really fresh take on the whole genre. Yeah, the team over at Smirk and Dagger have done something really neat uh, with this game. Mm-hmm. It is built around the idea of having uh, hidden identity, uh, but it's not around role playing as heavily as it is around card selection and the choices you're making throughout the course of the game. Yeah, there's a lot of deception involved. There's a lot. There's a lot of card deception involved, mm-hmm. which is different from role playing deception. Not yep. everyone can fit into a role playing environment as effectively as something like Menace Among Us allows you to do. Yep. Along with that. It is a tight, quick, what do you think, 40 to 60 minute uh, style game. And that's part of the point. Able to get a social deduction, hidden identity style game to the table as quickly and efficiently as possible. So this is a cool one. Oh yeah, for sure. One worth paying attention to. Underneath this entire stack, I have Dungeons and Dragons, the Stranger Things uh, intro box or the Stranger Things kind of core box. I wanted to make sure I gave away something that uh, was close to my heart. Mm-hmm. D&D is one of the ways that I jumped into board games as a whole. Um, I love role-playing games. I'm excited to bring more and more of them here to the channel. We have, that's one of the things we have in the works coming down the road. And this D&D starter set is perfect for someone who hasn't had the chance to test out the D&D world or test out role-playing experiences. Through an IP that has become extremely popular. Well, they deserve to be. Yeah. So if you're interested in testing out D&D, interested in getting into the role-playing environment, this is how I started. Well, with the core D&D one. This is a unique version of the way that I started in the role-playing world. So worth keeping an eye on. And it includes a mini. And it includes a mini. In front of that here on top, I mentioned it briefly, but Tiny Epic Westerns is another Tiny Epic game by Gamelin Games. And this is a poker and worker placement style game. So if those two things kind of scratch the back of your head, uh, check out this game a little bit deeper and then add it to your list in terms of what you would like to get. Next, this one is close to my heart, mm-hmm. Keyforge. So one if, of the first games I reviewed on the channel. Yeah, yeah, so this is a throwback. As you may already know, Keyforge is a very unique card game. Yeah. You're not buying booster packs, you're buying entire decks. And the entire point of Keyforge is that you have to adapt to the deck that you got. Yeah. And that's just a beautiful way of approaching the genre. Here we have the starter set for the Ascension 
kind of like second round. Yeah. And we have decks from the first phase and the second phase. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna pull up here to one that is, I saw you avoiding talking about this because you knew <laughs> I was the person that had to address this. Oh, of course. We're gonna be giving away uh, three different Kingdom Death items. We have mm -hmm. Fade, we have Before the Wall, and we have the Echoes of Death. This mm -hmm. is the first uh, version of the Echoes of Death. The new box actually uh, is a slip cover. So this one is one of those flap opens and slide. Collectors mm -hmm. know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Came from when they first made it. I'm getting into the weeds here. <laughs> Kingdom Death is one of my favorite games of all time. That being said, if you're watching this and you're not familiar with Kingdom Death, these are expansion materials. So they have uh, additional models, they have bonus cards, expansion cards. This is something for core Kingdom Death players. Uh, we are in talks to figure out a way to give out a core game of Kingdom Death. <sighs> But we'll follow up with you in yeah. probably about six to eight months. Right? Yeah, yeah, a little bit in the future, but keep time. So stay tuned. For now, though, we're giving out Fade, Before the Wall, and a copy of Echoes of Death. And the last thing we have here, ooh, ooh, ooh. a game that we have both really enjoyed. Yeah. This is... Tapestry! I think, I think you may be already a little bit familiar with this one. If you haven't, check out our videos on it. Tapestry is an abstractive civilization efficiency manager where essentially you're trying to go up four tracks to try and get the most victory points you can. Yeah. It's very fun. Uh, we did a right free wrong free yeah. on it. We did a full gameplay on it. Uh, this game really is very cool and one of the new hits coming out of Stonemaier Games because mm -hmm. they just keep putting out yeah, man. That's true for all of the companies that we have here in front of us. Um, I didn't put a single game out here that I don't think you'll genuinely enjoy. Um, that's sort of the hard part of doing this, right? Yeah, we have to let go of some, but hey. Oh, I have duplicates in most of these. Oh, so. That's true. <laughs> so, oh, thank to God. be fair, I'm not letting go of much. <laughs> uh, but genuinely, guys, thanks for staying tuned. Uh, thanks for being a part of this community. And at this point, Thank you for letting us say thank you, for letting us connect with you, and uh, we're looking forward to the future.